The Buffalo Sabres continue to make more picks in this first round. They add Yuri Kulich uh, to their prospect pool. And Brandon, your thoughts about this pick and, and what Buffalo has done overall during this draft? Well, Gil, with Buffalo's approach to this draft, it's very obvious what their need and target was, and that's the center ice position, as all three players they selected in the first round are listed as centermen. And with Yuri Kulich, this is a guy that uh, we had higher on our list at Locked On Senators at 25th overall, and it's because he's such a good player in transition. And he's such a smart two-way center that can be dominant when he wants to. At six feet, 172 pounds, he's definitely not one of those smaller centermen that you think, hey, maybe he might be better on the wing. And offensively, he has a lethal one-timer on the power play. He's able to drive attackers wide, and he's got got high hockey IQ that's going to allow him to stay in the center position of the ice. And I think the Buffalo Sabres, they really want to make sure they're going to have a lot of opportunities to find four good, capable defensemen to play up the middle for them at the NHL level one day. And they're really padding their prospect pipeline with a lot of those centermen, clearly. No question about that. And it sounds to me like the high hockey IQ will help him adjust to the North American rink in the North American game. Yeah, I really think it will help him because he showed very impressively in international competitions, but that's just the thing. He's very good at playing with that big open ice. And when you're someone that uh, your top attributes are playing well in transition, when you shrink that ice size down, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get through the neutral zone without having to deal with big, strong defensemen really blocking your path. And and those defensemen that have good gap controls, you're not going to be able to get through the middle of the ice with ease like you were over in Europe. So I think this is another player that Buffalo should look at bringing over sooner rather than later. Get them used to North American ice. Get them with Rochester Americans, a great AHL pro Program, and you could see him flourish here. And I think Buffalo is starting to build something as they've got some heavy hitters on the defensive end in Dahlin and Owen Power, obviously. So they're trying to fill out the front of their roster a little bit more here. Yeah, it sounds like they specifically wanted to get a specific area addressed and they went out and did it. So that's always a, a good sign for the Buffalo Sabres. How far off do you think he is as far as being NHL ready, Brandon? I think it might take a couple years just because he doesn't have those other attributes like a big shot, uh, like great passing or great vision or anything like that. So I think it's going to be a couple years for him to really find where he fits in the Sabres organization and to really work on his transition game on a smaller ice rink surface here. So I, I would be surprised if he's uh, ready for the NHL before three years. I think it's going to be at least another two years of development. But if you're the Sabres, you got time. You're not contending anytime soon, so you got time to let this guy develop. 